Bladesmiths, today's competition revolves around barbarians, specifically the Goths, who sacked Rome in 410 AD. Now, along the way, the Goths seized weapons of their adversaries and incorporated them into their own arsenals. And today, we're going to ask you to incorporate these weapons into a billet from which you will forge one of these, a favorite of backstabbers everywhere. A Puggio dagger. It is believed that the Puggio was the weapon used by the Senate conspirators to assassinate Julius Caesar on the Ides of March in 44 AD. Your challenge here in the first round is to use a Hata technique to combine three or more of these weapons to forge a Puggio. Good luck, Bladesmiths. Your three hours starts now. For my stack, I want to have nine pieces or more, so that way when you do draw this out, you want to have more metal than you need. Having more is better than not having enough. Right now, I've got my billet welded up. I've got six separate pieces, about four inches by an inch wide. Got tacked up, heating up. I've still got a few shitters that I got to work out, but I think once I got my billet set, I'm going to be rolling. Double-edged daggers, I have no problem with. I I've made them, but um, the challenge in this weapon is the weapon has to be symmetrical, and then you, you can't be off. The judges will see that. They will know that. If your measurement's off, you can go home. If you don't do your welds right, you can go home. I don't want to go home. I want to be number one. I start drawing the billet out lengthwise. I don't want to push out too much metal at one time. I want to maintain that thickness of the blade because I know the judges are brutal when they test. Hot metal. I don't know if I got enough material. Every time you forge weld, there's always a chance of failure. So every time I forge weld, I'm nervous. My first forge weld is just a nice light tap to make sure everything's set. And then once I know that weld is set, I can start drawing this billet out. When you're forge welding, it's a repetitive process. You have to heat, hammer, heat, hammer. So it becomes one solid piece of metal. And when you're forge welding, it's hit as hard as you can, as fast as you can. Alex did manage to do a period correct Caesar quench. Caesar quench? Yes, he stabbed that forge 23 <laughs> times, moving it in and out before he went to the oil. My knife's looking pretty straight. It sounds hard, it looks hard. I'm feeling good. Well, this is what I got so far. I'm going to go into the heat treat and then uh, do a little more finish grinding. Kevin just quenched his blade. It's file testing it. Yeah, that was quick. That was very fast. You got to be kidding me. Half of it's heat treated, half of it's not. That is bad news. On the second heat treat, I bring it up to cherry red. And I got the same problem again. Kevin may be file checking while it's still hot and thinking it didn't get hard. So going for another clint uh, and then another clint. That makes sense. I'm starting to feel the, the pressure. I know I got to get on that grinder to start getting this thing cleaned up. And the tip looks very hot. Yeah. Come on, dude. Nope. What the hell's going on? I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Oh, she's hard now. I'm good. The heat treat slash the quench is what hardens your blade so that when you do chopping or cutting, it'll keep its edge. So I need it to be fully hardened. Perfect. Five, four, three, two, one. Bladesmith, shut down your machines, drop your tools, stop what you're doing. This first round of bladesmithing competition is over. Yeah, boys. Bladesmiths, welcome to the strength test, the old shield stab and chop. To test the strength and durability of your edges and points on your Puggios, as well as their overall construction, I'll be chopping and stabbing mercilessly into these shields. I don't really care what happens to the shields in this. I want to see what happens to your tip and your edges. Alex, you're up first. You ready? Let's do it. All right. I'm super nervous going into testing. I'm not sure how my tang is going to hold up after I just re-welded it. My tip is thin, so I'm just really hoping that it can hold up.
Well, Alex, first things first, you lost about a quarter inch of your tip here. Um, I'm looking at the grain in there, and it's, it's not as fine as I'd like to see. It's probably overheating during the normalizations or quenches. That aside, you left some sharp corners of the wood right here, where the wood contacts the brass, and it took a little, little nibble out of my, my thumb right here. But in total, it's got a good classic Puggio shape, and your edge held up really well. Kevin. Let's rock it, man. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I'm a little anxious to see how my knife is going to perform. One of two things are going to happen. Either that shield's going to give, or my blade's going to snap. All right, Kevin, first things first, the tip came off. Again, this grain is bigger than I like. You also lost a piece of your edge right here. There's a nibble out of it. We can go to your handle construction here. Don't call my baby ugly. <laughs> oh, no, sir. <laughs> Look, you were under a time crunch. You chose a method of completing this challenge in a way that's usable and wieldable. Well done. I'm down with it. Mike, you're up next. What are you thinking? Let's do it. All right. I haven't been nervous until right now, and I'm going crazy. My competitors both lost their tips. If I can keep my tip on, I don't think I'm gonna have any problems. But this is out of my control. This is in the judge's hands. That's not a medallion, man. That's a pin. That's a big pin, no different than these pins. Mike. Your blade doesn't have medallions on either side of that handle, and it is a critical feature in a Puggio. And therefore, your blade cannot be tested or measured evenly and fairly with your competitors, and it doesn't make the cut. You did a lot of hard work here, my friend, and it's an unfortunate circumstance. But at this time, I have to ask you to please leave the forge. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. If you're gonna come to this competition, make sure you pay attention to the parameters. It's very important. The smallest little detail that you miss can get you off. This was an amazing experience. I truly believe that if I had my weapon tested, I would have went through to the finals. What's next for me is go home, and I'll probably make another Puggio, and I'm going to send a picture to the judges and say, this is what I made. <laughs>